What's up, fam? Salute to the hoes, bros, and negroes. This short bit is going to be about Nori, N-O-R-E, Dream Champs. Dream Champs um, podcast, man. Yeah, right? You see what happened to him, right? Everyone's getting upset now. They got their two cents. Talking about Nori shouldn't have put down the, um, the interview from Kanye like he had a choice and what they would have done and things like that. I tell you before, like Kanye was telling you, the Jews run this here. So therefore, the Jews going to, they want to take it down, it's going to get taken down no matter what. They said, oh, it's the sponsors. No, it's not the sponsors. It's Mr. Goldberg up in the office there tell them, we ain't having that. No, we own this here. You know, so everybody trying to look at it. Puff Daddy, is, he's um the owner of Revolt. He might be a face man. He might, got, he might own something, but he's not the 100% shot caller there. I guarantee he's a Jewish man. So that's why they took that shit down. You know what I'm saying? Puff is not going to, um, how are you saying, Mm, Russell the feathers of the Jewish people. He's not going to do that. No way in the world. Kanye's trying to do that, but it's what happened to Kanye. You know what I'm saying? He got money. He's never going to go broke. But um, Balenciaga, J.P. Morgan Chase, all cut ties with him. That's money, fam. That's money. But Kanye, he's, in, he's, a, he's a $11 billion dollar man, so he's not really caring so much about these people there, right? But other people like Nori, he knew better. He knew better than oppose them. You see what happened next goddamn day? He won the um the apology tour. You know, hitting Rosenberg. Make sure he make sure he the Jews. That's what he did. Make sure they see his face. That I'm apologizing. Talk about his Jewish friends and all this stuff there. I said, like, yeah, yeah. But they did. They told Nori, said, Mira, bring your black parking ass up to the office. So he gets up there. He was panicking, he's sweating. He's starting to study and shit. They're like, God damn, Norway, we're not having this deal. All of a sudden, he just pack and starts speaking Spanish. But me up, but I'm not. He's like, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. We don't understand that shit, Nori. Calm down. You know what I'm saying? Get that, you take that video, the interview off. That's it. Okay, no problem, boss. And that's the way it was. If that was any one of y'all, y'all did the same thing too. If your boss is Jewish and you got your show on his company, that means you need to get shut the hell up. No matter if it's right or wrong. You know what I'm saying? Until you black fools start owning something to where you can't get shut down, they need to shut your mouths up by any any um racial thing or um, Jewish thing. Because, because you have no power. When you have the power to shut you down, what can you do about it? But look stupid. You no know, apologize and say this Nick Cannon. Come to turbans on the black power shit with, with Professor Griff. Once I shut you, I start laughing. Progressive Griff know what happened to his ass, huh? They, they knocked him out of um, PE. Cut him off. You ain't hear no more Progressive Griff sees after that shit there, right? He had nothing from him. He was done. And the same thing happened to Ken. He knew that shit was. With the wild and out, they cut his show. He had to go back and they extorted him. He had to pay a hefty fee to get his show back on, to get his people back on. You know what I'm saying? They'll let you run your mouth. They'll give you a little light. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, let you be a house Negro, let you walk around the house a little bit, you know, with some clothes on, you know what I'm saying? Get a little, a little small plate, you know, leftovers. They'll do that, but they're not going to let you feast. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to let you feast the Jews. They're saying that's what they own. They're saying, as long as they can make money off y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all dancing and singing, rapping, whatever it is, playing sports, whatever it is, they'll be cool. But once you disrupt things, not mess their money, they're ruthless. They are ruthless. They're going to take you out. And false Kanye, he's a $11 billion man. What I need to worry about is, is these people trying to take Kanye out. If them trying to take Kanye out, every person you see like, oh, Dirty Bastard, um, Pepsi's, all the people who, who start talking, prodigy, you know, enlightening people, what happened to them? Somehow they get killed. You know what I'm saying? So I suggest um. To Ye, he better beef up his bodyguards, screen these dudes, make sure there ain't no kind of um, informants or any kind of thing. He better beef up his security. You know what I'm saying? Watch what he do to tell him check his vehicles before he hop in that goddamn thing. Because I'm telling you right now, I believe his life is in danger. His life is in danger, fam. We go about those people like that so arrogantly. He said he's not, he, he's not, he's ready to die for this year. Huh? And they're ready to fucking kill him out there, fam. We ain't afraid. That's my little short about him, Nori, having to back down. He had to do what he had to do. Why? Because he does not own nothing there. Puff Daddy does not own Revolt. You know what I'm saying? The top dogs would be some Jewish men inside there. 
He the one that run that deal. So y'all gotta keep your mouth shut, your brothers out there. When you run your mouth until Kanye opens his own little black social media, we all can run your mouth and talk your mess without getting suspended and cut off. You need to add ease. And I'm my fan. Peace.